using plant starch and fibers. This is simple biology and let's start. Plants were used as a resource for a long time ago. They were used as a food resource, as a composite material, and medicine, plant fibers, and as a biofuel, and as bioplastics. Why they were been used for a long time as a resource, why it's recommended now to use them in biofuel, in bioplastic, why plant fibers, why medicine, plants they are so special because they are renewable so you can grow plants over and over every year they will not run out so if they are renewable this means they are sustainable sustainable means that they can last for a long time for future generations plants used as a food resource in plants, you can find all the requirements uh, of macronutrients. We can find the carbohydrates, and you can find uh, proteins, you can find fats. All the oils like uh, sunflower oil, canola oil, this is of plant origin. Proteins in seeds, also it's readily available. Carbohydrates, bread, uh, pasta, potato, rice, all of these are uh, mainly composed of carbohydrates and they make our main food. Also fruits, they have other uh, components, like in addition to these macronutrients, I can find also the micronutrients like vitamins, minerals, and uh, many other things. Plants also, they uh, make a good source in our food as a food for animals that we raise so we raise animals for meat and those animals they use plants as their source or as their major source for food so this makes plants a major source of our food the main uh, commodity grains grown around the world are the uh, rice and wheat so uh, these are mainly carbohydrates they make our main food. Plants are also, also used as a composite material. Composite material in furniture and they are used as a composite material in building. Now, what makes this uh, so special is that you're locking the carbon dioxide which is absorbed by plants in photosynthesis, you're locking it in the the houses or the furniture so it's not released again back to the atmosphere so this reduces the uh, amount or the concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere so this carbon is locked in this building also the wood has like different characteristics which makes uh, which make it uh, hard and strong this is due to the uh, fibers which are lignified. So the wood is lignified. Lignin, it's a very tough material. So we're talking here about the xylem and the sclerenchyma uh, cells, which are lignified, making this wood. And at the same time, those cellulose fibers in the cell walls of the plants, they are arranged in something like, it's like a mesh, which is, which are uh, parallel in one layer and anti-parallel in the next layer so if you uh, if they are uh, nailed they won't break plants are also used in medicine for a long time ago plants were been used as a uh, source of medicinal drugs of course now like around 60 70 percent of the medicine available uh, all the active ingredients are isolated or originated from plants. Plant fibers. Of course, not all plants can be a good source of fibers, but in this case, plant fibers are extracted from banana leaves, from uh, manila plants, flax plants, and this extraction of plant fibers can be used uh, mechanically, like in this case, or by retting 
in water for a certain time. So the flesh uh, part of the plant will be decomposed and the hard part, which are the fibers, will can be extracted and then dried under sun uh, and to be used later. Of course, these fibers, mainly sclerenchyma and xylem uh, fibers, because they are lignified, they have strength, and uh, this can be used in different uh, applications. These fibers, individual fibers, they don't have enough strength. So when we take the fibers and just like twist them around each other, making thicker fiber, this makes the fibers stronger, stronger, and can be used like in ropes or other applications as well. Land fibers are used in making paper, in making plastic, or sorry, baskets. Now moving to another application of plants, that's bioplastics. Bioplastics were been used also from long time ago, from 1869. They started making uh, bio billiard uh, balls from bioplastic. It didn't work at that time because it caught fire easily. Also, they used them in photographic films and movie film. This is celluloid-based plastic. Talking about bioplastic, why bioplastic is uh, good for the environment, why it's preferred against the petroleum-based plastic. The environment, the environmental cycle of bioplastic, remember this bioplastic is extracted from starch, thermoplastic starch, uh, extracted from corn, from sugarcane, uh, beets, sweet potatoes. So these are the raw materials for the plastic. Then this plastic is made into different products and after using these products, we can recycle them. How can we recycle them? We have different options. So we have many options for recycling here. It can be just like uh, crushed uh, for maybe composting or it can be uh, incinerated uh, to make uh, energy, electricity from that as well. So the carbon dioxide which is absorbed in, by photosynthesis in these plants it will be released again by combustion so it's somehow carbon neutral and in other in the other part which is biorecycling or composting you can make uh, manure for plants for, as plant fertilizers for growing plants again um, so this makes this makes plants or bioplastics somehow carbon neutral which is reducing the carbon emissions to the atmosphere reducing the uh, effect of uh, carbon dioxide on global warming uh, in general. So they do not increase carbon dioxide emissions. So what are the special characteristics of bioplastics? They are biodegradable. This means that they can degrade in nature uh, after a certain time and release this carbon dioxide and water back to the atmosphere. They are sustainable. So they will not run out. You can grow these plants over and over, and these bioplastics will be available for future generations it's because the plants are renewable and they are compostable. You can make compost from uh, these bioplastics after you're done using them. So also they can be recycled into different uh, products. So what is the argument against bioplastics? The argument against bioplastics starts that it's expensive. Not enough research is done uh, for bioplastics. That's why it's expensive. Not uh, There's no much production of bioplastics. Makes them expensive. They release methane gas when decomposed. So when they are decomposed, they release methane gas. Methane gas is 25 times more potent than carbon dioxide as a greenhouse gas. And also they need set of conditions to biodegrade. They do not biodegrade in nature easily. They need set of conditions. And if we are using plants like star, uh, like potato, like maize for bioplastics, this means there's an increase in competition for food resources. A lot of land is used to make uh, plants for bioplastic instead of making food, which at the end uh, increase the prices of the food or increase the scarcity of the food. 
one last uh, application of uh, plants as a resource is biofuel. The same thing, growing plants for bioplastic here, growing plants for biofuel. So the plants, especially the maize here, are consumed by, let's say, yeast, certain fermentation process, results in making ethanol, which is a fuel. This fuel is burned, and the uh, carbon dioxide goes back to the atmosphere, and they claim that the uh, that the biofuel is carbon neutral now this claim it's not fully right because the process of harvesting and culturing these plants growing these plants requires machines and the machines will be using fuel and burning this fuel will release more carbon dioxide to the atmosphere so this stays as an argument thank you for